The Ghislaine Maxwell trial isn't the only thing making headlines. We also have seen uh, this trial, Bob, on Jesse Smollett. Uh, what, oh, do you, yeah. what do we know about that today? Uh, yeah, also jury selection, I believe, beginning today. Let's bring back our panel to talk about both of these cases. Uh, these aren't being televised. Um, and, and, and I think that's kind of interesting because we saw some recent cases that were televised. Uh, to me, Ford, I, I think this uh, Smollett case should last about 20 minutes, but we, we know that there are a lot of gyrations here uh, <laughs> that, that uh, he uh, apparently created a scenario that did not happen. He was charged with such, and then those uh, allegations were dropped. And then he's been recharged with that, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. But I wanted to get your thoughts on it. Well, look, Jesse Smollett should be held accountable because he perpetuated a fraud upon the American people. Unfortunately, who will not be held accountable here are the Democrats and the mainstream media who continue to promote this lie because to them it's more important to promote wokeness over the truth, and they continue to do that. And when the truth comes out, they're not going to care because they're not going to be held accountable. And what they're going to do is go on and picking any narrative that they like to continue to promote the, their woke agenda, irrespective of the truth, and it's destroying America from within. Yeah, Melanie, Mel uh, yeah, I, I, I no, was go just going to jump in. Uh, Melanie, I, I wanted to get your thoughts on this also because uh, th this kind of case really drives me crazy. It, it, it drives me crazy, too, because when there is actual racism that needs to be addressed, right. this is the kind of case where people say, eh, there's really, really not any, any racism. And, and really, every time I think about this case, I think about how hilarious it is that someone would actually say Chicago is mega country. Like, it sounds like someone right. who was trying to make it look like it was racism yeah, would say, Melanie, it doesn't can, sound can, like something someone who was actually a MAGA person. And in case that. people aren't aware with it, he said he was attacked by a couple guys that were wearing MAGA hats, I think, and they attacked him with their hands and, and, and hurt him. And uh, I, I just wanted to make that clear that that was what he claimed and there was no evidence to prove that. Uh, uh, in case people weren't familiar with this, because this goes back a while. I mean, I, I mean and then the DA uh, dropped the case. <laughs> Uh, and then it came back, Mercedes, this has been a mess, and I, I'm trying to be careful with my words, because I don't want somebody like Smollett to go find somebody to sue us for saying we're saying he's guilty. That's why he's in court right now. Right, and it's also, Bob, to your point, there's that celebrity status, right, that in, in terms of they should be treated maybe differently than, uh, you know, other individuals... Yes that have committed a crime. So it, actually, you got to give credit to the Chicago, former Chicago mayor, Rahm Emanuel, who was like, no, we got to take up this case, which I thought was interesting. But uh, let me ask you, Ford, on this issue of, of uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, we have this bail, that this issue of the bail that's come up, and Maxwell's brother wants to make it clear that Ghislaine should be out and is not being treated fairly. Uh, so what, what are your thoughts on that? I'm going to save everyone watching this segment a lot of time and tell you that basically the fix is in. We are going to go through the motions. We are going to hold the trial. Maxwell is going to get a slap on the wrist. The full truth about the actions of both Maxwell and Epstein will never come out because too many powerful people, primarily Democrats, have a lot to lose in, the, in this case. And I'm going to tell you something else. The fact that Jim Comey's daughter is one of the prosecutors is not a good look either. There's a lot to question in this case, but if you think this is going to get to the bottom of the truth, it's never going to happen. Yeah, you know, one Interest of the things... Yeah, go ahead. No, I just wanted to get Melanie's reaction here. Sure. Um, let's, let's take a listen to, to uh, Maxwell's brother. The authorities lost Epstein on their watch in federal custody, theoretically under 24-7 guard, and they're taking it out on my sister. And that's just damn wrong. The denial of bail is wholly inappropriate. Gillen is a woman who somehow doesn't get bail. You know, have, Melanie, have I, what's your, yeah, what's I, your approach on, or, or your thoughts on the fact that they would deny bail? I was a little surprised that they denied bail. It was on the grounds that she's a flight risk, which she probably is, but they could take away her, her passport or something like that. The fact that she's been locked up all this time and that crazy person who, uh, who drove through the parade was out 
on a thousand dollars bail is a little ridiculous and just shows, you know, the the need for some changes in the yeah. legal system. No doubt about it. But I also agree with what Ford said earlier. This is legal theater. Nothing's going to really happen to Ghislaine Maxwell because, like Ford said, there are way too many people who are involved in this. And the fact that one of the first moves that the judge made was to say, oh, we have to redact a whole bunch of stuff because it's That's just right. a little too spicy is essentially right. what, uh, what the judge said is why that stuff has to be redacted. Uh, I, I smell a rat, and I think Ford's exactly right. Nothing's yeah. going to happen here. Yeah, and and what I don't want to be lost in, in all of this is I've always felt like there are certain crimes, like crimes of passion, where, you know, somebody shoots somebody because of a lot going on. This is preying on the powerless. If these stories are true, these girls uh, had no power over these uh, men, and in this case, a woman helping the efforts uh, and they are abused and, and groomed for that. Uh, and, and, and then uh, I, I just think that's unconscionable. To me, those are the people you should throw in jail and throw the, the, the key away. Uh, it, uh, enough other things are in there. This isn't taken seriously enough, and I hope they do take it seriously, and I hope somebody is held accountable. But, Ford, you're probably right. It's going to be a slap on the wrist, and I think that's so unfortunate. Uh, we're going to leave it there. Ford O'Connell, Melanie Collette, thank you so much. Always a pleasure having both of you. 